One of the great things about being a quilter is, of course, the fabric. And my guess is that you have a pretty awesome stash. It's time to get out those fabrics and play with them. I recently wrote a book called Scrap Quilting, and yay, it's here. Okay, you think having a baby takes nine months is a long time? Try writing a book. It's forever, but I have it in my hands and I'm super excited. Let me tell you about it. There are six one block quilts in it, and I'll show you a few in a few minutes, and one sampler, along with a gallery of quilts, including antique quilts that can inspire you to get going and dig into your stash. Now, one of the, there are a couple scary things about making a scrap quilt. So I'm gonna talk about in the book, fabric strategy. I mean, how do you know if your stash is healthy? You know, 98.6. I also give you design and construction strategies, some things that maybe you haven't thought of before. I also include different block approaches. So like, let's say you take a star block, what can you do to shake it up? Of course, there's setting options, borders, and quilting. So let me show you a couple of the quilts in the book. This is the bow tie quilt. I absolutely love this block. It's my new favorite. In fact, after I turned the book in, I made two more bow tie quilts. It's super uber easy to make this block and it's a perfect way to celebrate what's going on in your stash. Um, oh, here, solid fabrics are in, in, in these days. And this is a little bit solid, but a little bit more cherry wood. This was a lot of fun to make. Easy, easy, easy flying geese. I give you my secret technique. And people are going nuts over these squiggles. Show you how to do that in the book. This particular quilt celebrates a period collection you might have. And last but not least, I have been bitten by the modern bug. Have you? So, this particular quilt celebrates my Cafe Facet collection along with a little bit of a modern look. And you'll see here, I have a flange on this quilt. I show you how to do that too. So I would love to send you an autograph copy. Simply click the link below and I'll get it off to you right away.